Hey there, I'm Casey and this is Jenny and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we're making a dish that's packed with all those yummy fall flavors. That's right Casey, today mm -hmm. we are making a roasted butternut squash quinoa salad. Yum. Yes. Can't wait. No. <laughs> so uh, should we get started with the star of this dish? Yes, the butternut squash. So we're using already a cut butternut squash from our produce department. Um, you could certainly cut your own. It would be about a half a squash if you're doing that because this is about two and a half, or sorry, a half a squash if you're doing that. This is about two and a half cups. So we'll start with this. Definitely easier to buy the pre-cut stuff instead of wrestling with, with the whole squash. Definitely, yeah. And then we have some red onion we're going to add as well. Give it some more flavor. Mix that up a little bit. We're going to add some olive oil. And then we're going to add some salt to that as well. So basically what we're going to do with this is we're going to roast it just to kind of soften those veggies up. Make them a little easier to eat, and then they'll go really well in the salad as well. Yeah, and the roasting Oops. process kind of caramelizes all those vegetables too, which makes it a little bit sweeter, Yeah, which I really love. Um, you'll see that we have our baking sheet lined with parchment paper. It's optional, but it does make cleanup a little easier. Mm -hmm. You right. could also spray your baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil, but it's not really necessary because we do have olive oil um, mixed in with these vegetables already. Yep. So I will go ahead and get these into our oven. Um, it's set at 400, and it'll take about 20 minutes to get them nice and roasted. Mm -hmm. So while Jenny's doing that, um, we've had some quinoa working here. Um, we mixed a regular quinoa and a red quinoa just to give it a little bit more color, um, especially kind of for a fall dish. It seemed a little more seasonal. Um, so this is just about done. We did one part quinoa to two parts water as usual, and then we're just kind of going to fluff it with a fork. All right. Yum. And you could also just buy tricolored quinoa, which has mm -hmm. a lot of really great colors to it as well. Definitely. They all cook the same, so no worries <laughs> when you're mixing and doing that. So we have our squash already roasted, yep. um, and I will get started on the dressing then. Yes, so perfect. I love this dressing because it's super simple, just a few ingredients. Um, we've got some olive oil. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Gives it a nice tang. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to do, eyeball about a teaspoon and a half of honey. A little bit of sweetness. A yeah. dash of cinnamon. I think the cinnamon is what really kind of makes this like a fall dish. That's definitely a fall flavor. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice addition to this dressing. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit of salt. Mix this all together. So, like I said, super simple, but mm -hmm. really tasty. Definitely. All right. So, while Jenny's finishing that up, um, we just have to add everything together now. Um, so, we can start with the quinoa. Mix, stick this in. I oh. love quinoa. Yes. And those colors, I just, I can't get over, like, how pretty that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, all right, and let's get the squash in. I will fold the pan yep. if you want to scoop. Sure. Teamwork this. Yes. Oh, yum. Whoopsie. Oops. <laughs> Some <Simple>. casualties. <laughs> Perfect. All right. And then we've got our dressing we can add in. And then just a few more additions. Um, we've got some dried cherry. We have some parsley here, oh, parsley. some dried cherries, and then some pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds without the hull. Um, so you can find them. You can get them in our natural and organic in the bulk section. Um, you can also get them in like the baking section too. We've got some prepackaged as well. Yeah, and I love the bulk section because you can really just buy what you need. So you don't need a ton for this recipe, so you don't have to buy that entire package. It's kind of nice. Definitely. That is that very nice. Mix? This is so pretty, and I yeah. love how you can really kind of mix and match the ingredients. So we use the dried cherries. We're going to put some goat cheese on top. Mm -hmm. um, but we've tested it in different ways. It's really good with cranberries. Yes. And we talked about using maybe feta, mm -hmm. which is, again, a really strong cheese, but super tasty. Yep. I would even think maybe like a shredded Parmesan might work. Yeah. If you're into that. Um, 
lots of different ways to kind of personalize this. Make it your own. Yeah, which is great. All right. Okay, so I want to get that yeah. into the bowls, and then I'll go ahead and garnish it. Sure. Scoop some of that. Looks good. Oh, and this was so easy, too. I mean, basically, we're just kind of mixing things together. And, mm -hmm. and I really like how this salad can be eaten hot. So we're having it hot right now, mm -hmm. or you can have it cold. Yep. There you go. Yeah, however you're kind of feeling. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I love the tang of the apple cider vinegar. I'm a big fan the... of goat cheese, so <laughs> yeah, that's probably my favorite that, part. Sure, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Well, we hope you give this fun fall salad a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.